Well guys, we've got seven lanes of traffic. We're in LA. This is Marissa and <laughs> Chris Nolte from hey, Propel. Guys. He's actually opening a shop in Long Beach. So I was hooking up with these guys before Interbike, which is where we're headed right now. It's in Reno this year, that's new. So I'm pretty excited about it and I just thought it'd be fun to document part of the trip and then do little intro blurbs, just kind of an overview of the show to let you guys know what's going on. Hey guys, up on that mountain is the Getty Museum. See that white stuff? It's like this huge museum with art from the Middle Ages. Uh, there's another Getty Museum actually in Malibu down by Santa Monica. So if you're ever in LA, these are really, really cool. Just a lot of really important historical paintings and sculptures and stuff like that. Um, if you've ever heard of Getty Images, I think it's the same family. So yeah, I just need to see this stuff in person. Okay guys, we are making progress. We're in the desert and Marissa just spilled some nuts. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it happens. Uh, we've got like eight more hours or something. Maybe, I think we're down to six. I think this is an eight hour drive <laughs> total. Oh, we found a subway. We must be getting close to Interbike because there's all these like bikes. They're on the same trail as us. We're this beautiful, cute little town. Hey guys, we made it. We just crossed through the outdoor demo day, a little balloon float thing, and then I ran into this guy. He's like, Court! And I was like, what's up? <laughs> I know, Fritz? I saw you going down backwards. You're like, oh yeah, the fellow of the week <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's true, good. that's true. We met online, because you were looking for an e-bike, and you kind of We did, and I, I followed so many of your videos. I learned all about e-bikes from hub drives to the mid drives, and I've watched your different comparison videos. Yeah. I learned a lot about the different variations between the Barossa and the Shivano. Right. And, and then the Yamaha drive. And the Still Hosea. unfolding. Have you, I mean, did you just get here or what? Uh, I've been here yesterday. I'm here for the full week. Any highlights so far? Um, well, I'm paying attention to high bike because I, I happen to own one. I just bought a oh, full fat suit. Oh, congrats. You yeah. liking it? How's it feel? I, I like it an awful lot. I, I'm, I'm 58. I've had a heart attack and I have to be at an upswing to get my life back together. Um, within two weeks of riding the bike, I found all that. What can you say? All those skills that you learned as a kid, they're all coming back slowly. So I'm finding yeah. my balance, I'm starting to drift. Good. The, the, the mind is, is starting to catch up. I look <laughs> ahead and not at the front tire. Well, and the, the fat tire bike in Alaska makes sense, right? Because you well, can snow. Exactly. Right? Well, I can get a studded snow tire on it and yeah. there's different tread patterns. Plus, it's very comfortable, the lack of vibration in the handlebar uh -huh. and then the front suspension. I can set the whole thing up to have whatever type of input that I want. But it's amazing how quickly you can learn things by just doing it. Yeah. Just jump in and go. This is wonderful. Thanks for saying hey. Yeah, I'm this glad we had a chance to talk. Yeah, this great. is great. Thanks, Fritz. Hey, guys. I thought this was kind of cool. I've heard about these Rambo e-bikes a couple times. There are some shops in Colorado. I think one in Grand Junction that might carry them. Really interesting paint job and big, big fat tires. These almost look like larger than four inches are they just <laughs> like what's going on here we actually started out marketing a lot towards the hunting community okay but what's yeah. happened is it's just absolutely exploded you mentioned your dealer at a grand junction is that right i think so yeah jan does an amazing job over there yeah. he absolutely does he services the whole collar and he travels quite a bit for several shows we have another dealer out of salt lake city utah badass outdoor gear so yeah our dealer base cool. just exploded do you guys have trailers or something for your bike oh, absolutely too? in fact we're really well known for our accessories i thought uh, so i've 
seen you at Interbike before. Yes. Situation, oh, look at this. We got some handoff so, support. My favorite trailer is the soft side. Uh, it's lightweight. It's 300 count, pound capacity. That? But yeah, wow. uh, it's sitting over here behind us. Look but if a guy's stuff. running more single tracks and where tighter spaces, easier turn, we can get into Suspended. our single wheel. That is and great. And then, yeah, for the kayaks, kayaks, the SUP users out there. So we've Stand got up paddle boards for those who are Absolutely. not in the know. This Absolutely. is Sorry fantastic. about that. So yeah, we do a wide variety of saddlebags, et cetera, et cetera. But this is Steel. Uh, technical question. Steel's our customer service right out of Minnesota. Our customers can call in any day, talk to the person behind the counter. They're not calling to a factory. So that's the guy. Exactly. Steel. That is a cool name, too, well, man. Thank you. Like, I appreciate, I appreciate the. It the time here can you tell me a little bit about the paint job that's going on this is it almost looks like carbon fiber but they're alloy yeah. frames yeah. yeah so our frames are alloy they are carbon fiber dipped um, for this year we're changing it up a little bit next year and then the motor so it looks like is some sort of buffang motor that's like encased though so it's extra protection going on correct so yeah we use the buffang bbshd that a lot of people use does this have the color display yeah absolutely okay, cool power it up for i'm you. back on track i'm just yeah, trying to figure out and i see a usb it. down there maybe yep okay so yeah that got it all powered up and rack mount this is this is a pretty nice looking bike how much do these retail for like the the base model is that the 500 so, uh so the base model is our r750 just standard without front suspension uh -huh. that one retails for right around two grand okay not then, bad yeah they go all the way up to about 4500 for our 1000 watt model like you mentioned before yeah this works great as a chain guard for um your pants otherwise it does act as a bash guard as well since it is aluminum so if you get like a log or rock strike down here everything just looks pretty beefy and i love that you've got some bosses here triple bosses for maybe like a uh, folding lock or bottle cage or what what do you use those yeah. for so our main thing that we use them for is we made them uh to fit the pdw mud shovels mud guards so, yep so that's the big thing but you can fit a bottle cage down there if you'd rather have that. This is cool. And yeah, just look at this. They got mounting point, mounting point. Up here we got those those front racks. So it's going to stay connected to the frame. It's not going to dump as you steer. It's just a really well done. And even the drivetrain here, this is the SRAM. The SRAM NX. This is the NX. Okay, it's dusty. I'm like, what's going to really wide? Is it like 11 to 46? Or? I believe that's what it is, yes. Fantastic. Can I get a high five? Absolutely. Dude, thank you, Steele. Yeah, thank you. Where can people learn more? What's the uh, website? It's rambobikes.com. Otherwise, they can feel free to give me a call at the phone number that's at the bottom of the website. Sweet, man. Yeah. Thanks so much. Hope you have a good show. Thank you. You as well. Hey guys, you know I love comfort. I found the Ergon booth and met up with Karen, who's assistant director of marketing here. And she told me there's like an e-bike specific saddle. Yes, I know, it's the way of the future. So, uh, That's Ergon awesome. in general is, uh, it's, an, it's a Germany-based company and they are really at the forefront of what's happening in the market. And with e-biking, they are now developing, they've now developed an e-bike specific saddle. Sweet. And there's a couple features that makes it uh, really approachable and uh, necessary for that market. Yeah. Um, so we have it here. This is the men's specific this and is the women's it. specific. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, What's it called? First, is there so a name? It's called the SME Mountain. Men ah, and women. there yep. we go. Yes. SM, what does the SM stand for? Saddle Mountain. Ah. And just looking at it first glance, you notice a very pronounced rear ramp. Uh, and what that does is huh. with E mountain biking, you're able to climb um, much steeper terrain and you are more seated oh. than on a, a pedal, a non motor assist bike. Yeah. So you need that bigger ramp to, um, to really feel more secure on the saddle, no sliding, no slipping, yeah. um, to get up those, to ramp up those steep sections. That makes sense. Yeah. And then you'll notice too, the difference between uh, the men's and the women is uh, the pressure relief. So huh. men and women obviously have very different uh, anatomy in that area yeah. and we need different pressure relief. So hmm. men, where you need more relief, it's more towards the back area. Cool. And then for the women, uh, where we need more pressure relief is towards the front. Oh. So typically we have a little wider sit bones hmm. as, as well as where the sit bones come together is a little lower and we're a little bit more flexible. So all of those things brings our soft tissue further forward on the saddle. Interesting. So that's why you see a more tapered uh, cutout in the front of the saddle. And these feel, they, they feel like firm. One of the things that I've always appreciated about the Ergon saddles is 
they, they just feel comfortable to me and it's it's like a little it's not sloping like I've been on saddles before that kind of slope and then I feel like it's spreading my sit bones and it doesn't right. feel comfortable Ergon also uh, goes above and beyond with their materials huh. so the materials that you see here are they're not going to lose uh, their integrity I huh. should say over time so Good word choice. Uh, the the amount of support it gives you right now uh -huh. is the amount of support it's going to give you five years from now. Okay. Yeah, great. Appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Thanks again. Oh yeah, there's That's the awesome. there's the dog, dude. I'm gonna chase him down. Him. Thank you. Look at this. Wow. I like your sidecar. Yeah. <laughs> Likes the sidecar too. Tank the tank, hey buddy. How are you? Oh yeah, he says I like being a. He wants to eat yeah. it. <laughs> hey guys, so you know all the e-bikes that we check out, they have tires, right? So I found the Continental Tire booth here, and, and I was hoping you could just give me an overview if there's any e-bike specific or new puncture resistant technology, or what are you guys doing? Yeah, absolutely. So what you're looking at here is our newly redesigned Protection Mountain Tire line. Wow. Um, the, all of them are made in Germany. They feature our proprietary black chili compound, tubeless huh. ready. But uh, one thing we did on them is they are designed and rated for e-bike use up to 25 kilometers an hour. Um, so Sweet. that's what we call our eco rating. It will be either eco 25 or eco 50 on some of our higher end uh, kind of hybrid trekking tires for the city e-bikes. How about the tread patterns here? So like some of these are super knobby, others have smaller knobs. So is that like cross country and then up to downhill or what? Exactly, yeah. So as with most mountain tire lines from pretty much all the brands, you're gonna have a range in tread patterns ranging, ranging from kind of your XC specific tires, which are gonna be good for the hard pack terrain, yeah. up to your kind of enduro or downhill style tires, which uh, can take a lot of abuse and work really well in kind of the looser, more rowdy conditions. Huh. That's awesome. Well, I guess that's a good overview. You guys sell these aftermarket, right? So people could always upgrade their tires depending on the size. Did you just go to your website and then check out the different sizes? Absolutely, or? yeah. And one nice thing we did on the new tire range, just because, uh, as you know, rim widths have kind of been all over the place oh, yeah. these days and yeah. widening out a lot. That's right. They've been getting wider. Yeah. So, and that's to help support, like, plus size tires and yeah stuff, exactly right? and it kind of opens up the top tire profile a little more for better performance yeah so that it's not as bulb like that it's like yeah you don't get that light bulb shape in the yeah. sidewall um so what we did on the tire sidewalls just to make it easier for the consumer is recommended rim width for each tire size wow. so for example i have a 2.4 tire here we recommend you use that with the 25 to 30 mil internal width rim okay how do you measure a lot of rims they have it printed right like down yeah here. correct It'll, it's usually generally printed on the sidewall of the rim this will help people you know if they want to upgrade their tires so thank you so much man yeah of course, i appreciate my pleasure. it have a great show you as well Hey guys, I found the roll-off booth and I met this guy, Stuart, and what? everyone said you were the guy. You got all the knowledge. Um, pretty much, yes. So, <laughs> yeah, roll-off yeah, speed yeah, hub. I've heard of this and I've seen it and I've tested it on an Optibike, on Reese and Mueller, and then we, what was the other one that you mentioned? Um, Kogmiata do a lot, Reese and Mueller, obviously you just mentioned. And who's um, the, co the custom one? Nikolai. Nikolai, Nikolai yeah. yeah. And so it's like this premium, like super durable, but a little bit heavier, you know, than a traditional cassette. A so little bit. Tell me the yeah. benefits and like what the, how does this thing work, man? Right, well, basically what we got is an internally um, geared hub. The principle is the same, been around for years, but with Roloff we have the indexing inside the gear unit, so instantaneous shifts, 100% adjustment free, very low maintenance. The hubs need one oil change a year, which you can do yourself, and that's it. Help me understand when you say inside is where the indexing is done. Right. Well, basically, with um, a lot of the traditional hubs, you have like a little spring which moves back and forth, and you have sliding elements which are then um, basically they're reliant on cable tension and the indexing. The click you feel when you shift yeah. is in the lever. Okay. But with roll off, we got that click inside the hub. So huh. this shifts basically by like a camshaft which rotates inside and grips the parts, allowing them to move or hindering the moving. Now I see how this wouldn't go out of tune as easily because you might get cable stretch or something, but the indexing is here. It's not like Correct. up at the top. So as cable stretch will maybe have a little more play on the shifter, but the click, the gears are always going to be there. Yeah, very yeah. cool, very cool. And the Speed Hub, that's your primary product. Yeah. It's been around for a while. I know I've seen this it's for years. It's been around, it was introduced in 97. First ones were sold in January 98. Um, basically, yeah, so 20 years on the market. Internally, very little has changed, hmm. but it's built around a modular system to fit it in various different bicycle frames. Yeah. So 
externally, yeah, little things have changed throughout the years. Uh, but that's inside's the same. So you can buy this and you can install it on your own bike if you wanted to aftermarket? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, we've got a version that'll fit in about 98% of all bikes Does out there. Does it have to be like 135 millimeter hub spacing or we can have, it fit in boost? Well or? the standard one's 135. Uh, we also do 170 and 190. Oh for like fat um, bikes or something? For fat bikes Whoa. certainly. We have a uh, fat bike over here. And look you got the loft suspension. You guys have all the fun toys here. Look yes. at this. Here we have it also with the Gates carbon drive system in the fat bike. Oh that's beautiful. Tight, so, you know, clean. You want that clean all the way out the way of dirt, sand. You know it's just tucked out the way. It's going to keep on working. You just, okay so I know you guys are getting excited Excited. belt like awesome I want that you have to have a frame that has a cutaway to get the belt on or it needs to have like a raised dropout you can't if it's a triangle frame. yeah basically yeah. The, the the frame the belt won't open like a chain will so you, yeah. the frame needs to open to allow it to pass through this there is fantastic yeah. man where can people go to learn more about your products and stuff um, basically our website www.rolloff.de um, all the information's there, a lot of technical information. Um, alternatively, we have a YouTube channel which shows various different videos, a little bit of insight into the factory. Um, just type in Roloff AG. Now, what AG is the being the German for ink. You know. For ink, okay. And I was gonna say, like, they spell it R O H L O F F. What is this someone's name, or what does that mean? Yeah, so the owners are still, um, well, they live in the factory, they're, they're part. Um, apartments in the factory itself. Wow. Mr. and Mrs. Roloff. So Bernard Roloff and Barbara Roloff are the two uh, that started the company. Sweet. And they're still alive kicking and uh, <laughs> making sure we do our job correctly. Good job guys. Hang in there. Hopefully they get out and they're not just forced to be in the factory. All the I think time. they like being in the they factory. They like it. So they're doing good stuff. They're man. doing good stuff. Thank you so much Stuart. Thank you. Have a good show. Thank you. That's the way to do it. <laughs> Love the license plate, sidecar, cute. Hey guys, so it's always cool to like see new brands and I found this cyclo electric bikes thing and there's this guy, Alan, what's up man? Hey, how's, how's it going? All good. This is your first inner bike, right? It is, first inner bike. We're very excited to be here. We're excited to have you. This is rad. Sure. You're right on the end. You got some good- Yeah, good we, got, we got pretty good location. Foot traffic going by. What's, uh, tell me about your bikes. Like when did you launch? So we launched actually about a year ago, but we've been out to market actually selling for just a couple months. A couple months. Here, come yeah. over here. I want to see what this bike looks like because it's got like a nice integrated battery. It's I haven't seen anything quite like this before. Yeah, so the battery is actually a unique design that we created and we tooled with our frame to fit into the frame specifically the way, the way that we wanted it to. Huh. And it looks like most of your models actually use this. Is that is that the thing, like interchangeable batteries? Yes, stuff? exactly. So we have the look of all our bikes is basically the same. The difference comes in the performance and the components. So we have different motors, different batteries, whether it's the watts or the volts, we have different brakes, different suspension. Um, the, this one has a torque sensor for the pedal assist, the rest have a cadence. Oh, um, a little so bit So we have smoother. differences within everything else. Yeah. You got lights and everything like that. What's, yeah. What are the price points? Here, let's come over. I want to see these ones too, yeah, like perfect. get them in camera. What? Where? What's your like starting so point bike? Our entry level bike is this one right here. And Sweet. this one starts for $9.99. Not bad. It's even got suspension. Yep. It's so they all have suspension. Geared motor. Um, geared okay. motor, exactly. So this one starts at $9.99. Uh -huh. Our premium, which is the one that we had seen before, the blue one is $17.99. Sweet. And that one has everything Everything you can want it has hydraulic disc brakes, SR Center suspension, oh. the large display, torque sensor, pedal assist, and the blue. I like the blue. Yeah. The, all of your bikes kind of like the white accents mm -hmm. and stuff. So, what's your website if people want to check it out? Yep. So, our website is cyclobikes.com. Okay. C Y C L O bikes.com. Sweet. I hope you have a great yeah. show. I appreciate it. Yeah. Hey guys, we're in a it's a crowded crowded moment here in the the inner bike outdoor demo, and I ran into Chris Casio and his wife, and then a store manager, is that right? Yeah, yeah. this is yeah. Eddie Willard. Sweet, yeah, sweet. Yeah. Cindy Chiazzo. Hi. Cindy. And I'm Chris. That's right, and where's your, your store is in? My, my store is in Denville, New Jersey. New Jersey, yeah. yeah. Uh, New Jersey is, is, is the up and coming stomping ground for electric mobility. I've been there. I've driven my car to New Jersey. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, you don't want to get that camera too close to the face, by the way. <laughs> you know, you want to zoom in, zoom on the on the beauty, not the beast. Okay. I, I missed your shop then. When did you guys open that? Uh, we opened up in uh, December of 2017. Okay, so you're one of the relatively new ones, man. Yes. How's it going? It's going great. Um, we, we carry many lines of e-bikes, including Bulls, yeah. BH, Okay. Magnum, right, right, vintage. You're saying BH instead of Easy Motion, right? Because they've updated. That's the I, new you know, name. yeah. I like the I like the PWX. I like some of the the Yamaha yeah. motors. The, the, that's that's a good one. Um, Blix, Blix is great. Yeah, uh, Bezvi, mm -hmm. um, Piaggio, oh. um, uh, Big Cat, Big Cat, uh, Boda. 
sweet. Boda. I mean, that's been a while. So yeah. did they have the Boda Boda? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's we right. Have, yeah, yeah. Spicy curry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like to call it the spicy tuna, but it, <laughs> it's, a, it, it's, it's a nice bike. And, um, you know, we're just, we're just looking to get people excited uh, and let them know that we're not here to replace traditional biking. We're yeah. just, we're well. just, we're just, we're just here to enhance. We're here to enhance people's experiences and being able to continue to ride after, I don't know, five knee operations. Oh no, how you know? did this happen? This is, this started in football when I was young, all the way through oh. coaching and Were everything Were you trying else. to impress the ladies? Because I think it worked. Yeah. You got yeah, yourself I was. A yeah, I was. Life. She came yeah. to visit me in the hospital. Nice she was the only one. Oh. Um, but well, what's impressed you at the show, man? Because this is, you're walking around. You're yeah. Well, we're, I'm enjoying learning a little bit about some of the new products, some of the new bike, the bikes that are coming out. Uh-huh. Um, and uh, just, just getting the high to, bike you were... yeah, yeah, the new high bike and, and the new Raleigh that, uh, that they're coming out with too. So, you know, we're always looking to expand at, uh, at, uh, Are you Voltaire talking about cycles. the Raleigh that's like dual suspension speed pedelec that's thing exactly out That's exactly what we're one. talking about. Is that the Lore IEDS? Yeah, I, just, I just took a picture of it. Oh it's a beauty. man, yeah, that's it's awesome. A you guys are going to like that one. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> this is great. I'm glad we ran across each other. I hope Absolutely. people check out your store Thanks sometime. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us, Corey. Yeah, it's I really a pleasure. appreciate it. Um, and to everyone who's watching, Voltaire Cycles, Denville, New Jersey, come on. There you go. Yeah. It's go good, check it's, out it's his It's a shop. great experience. <laughs> I barely got through the door and then I ran into this gentleman. What's your name? Edwin. Edwin. Cool, man. I like your bike. What is this thing here? Well, it's a little mini penny farthing. <laughs> it is. Yeah, look at that. Because the, right the motor, uh, okay, we got it on the bell here. I like the ring. Where do you put your feet when you're riding? They go back there? Uh, on the pigs. This thing is funky. Uh, can you, yeah, show us how it works. Oh yeah, oh man. These geo-orbital orbital wheels are pretty cool because you can put them on all kinds of stuff like big wheels for kids. Can I try that? Could you mind if I... Okay, wish there's me luck. The there's the throttle. That's the throttle? Oh my gosh, filming, throttling. Okay guys, I haven't actually tried one of these before but I've seen them and the, you know, the battery's down there. I was wondering how it would perform with suspension, but a setup like this. A suspension would be nice because this, this thing does not have no suspension. <laughs> a little bit. He said this gel thing is, is the little, suspension. Little, so. yeah, a little gel seat I just happened to have oh. in the garage. Wish me luck. Okay, I'm going to throttle it a little bit. It's so crazy not having pedals. <laughs> there we go. Oh boy. It's about as far as I feel safe riding this thing, but that's pretty cool, huh? Thanks, Edwin. And go 20? 20 miles an hour. Oh my gosh. That's the law with well, this type of motors. That's right, class two, right? We got the throttle and stuff. Yeah. How old is that one? It looks like it's holding up all right. Uh, it's a little over a year. Nice. I, 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 I guess I did have. Did yeah, you make this? This like your custom bike? No, 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 no. He, uh, it was the, uh, it was a Kickstarter campaign. You're all good. And this is like number 65, I remember. Wow. And so it was either a, a free shipping or the the little mini penny frame as a bonus. So that frame came with it. Yeah, and I did cool. I did a couple of little modifications, something to hold the, the water bottle on. <laughs> oh, cool! Really you know I love the water bottles. That is that's a critical upgrade right there. Yeah, it's full of full of nut, which is actually pretty tasty. Pretty stuff. Oh man! Shout out to our sponsors, guys. No, uh, not for real. Sounds like you're having a good day, man. There's a little laser. A laser grid thing here. Oh, this thing shines out and creates like the grid on the ground? Yeah. You can't see it. Well, you can see it like at night. So it paints a lane, so cars. Whoa. That work all right? Uh, well, I don't get it up. <laughs> You're not a night, night, night rider? <laughs> no, no, no. Just, uh, well, it's, it's, it's hard. I, I'm, mom's, I'm mom's caretaker, so I don't get a chance to do as much like. This is my one time a year <laughs> vacation. I'm glad we crossed paths, man. It was neat to see. Thank you. Hey guys, on our way walking to outdoor demo event, there was just this huge endless parking lot and the most popular bike racks that we saw were Kua. So I thought it'd be fun to swing by and say hey to Craig Metcalf. What's your role here, Craig? Hey, uh, kind of oversee all of our IBD accounts and then uh, love to do events, love to dive in on the marketing and uh, just uh, be a team, team member yeah. of the company. So. Well, sweet. We've been in touch for a little while. These guys actually sent me a rack a while back to demo. 
and I didn't put my bike on it quite right and it's it almost fell off but it's really cool because the arms are on the outside so it keeps the bike from falling off yep clever yep. yeah we intentionally do that so um, we try to overthink of, of any uh, situation that could could come arise so um, yeah What's new for 2019? Because I'm seeing this funky thing. What is this? Like a waffle maker over here? 2019 is, is pretty exciting. We are going to be uh, debuting a new category. So the snow sports category. Okay. And we're going to launch our grip. Uh, grip. Can you show me how this works here? Yeah. Um, one cool feature is uh, it's fully extruded aluminum. We'll have multiple color options and it'll come in a four ski or a six ski. So you can handle um, all your equipment. Uh, Two safely. snowboards? Two snowboards or four snowboards. So. Oh, whoa. Yeah, cause you flip them like one up, one down, sandwich yeah. style? Yeah. Absolutely. So, so show, show me how this works. Yeah, kind of looks so, like an e-bike battery actually <laughs> with like a handle. Yep, so like I said, everything's extruded aluminum. We built an oversized handle so whoa. you can quickly access the uh, the rack with Will your you put it on my hand? Things. I just want to see what this feels like. Yep. Oh, yep. so it squishes down. That's kind of cool. That, uh, oh, the back end pivots. To, to provide a, an even distribution. I like this. Um, and then one of the coolest features is that just to help with loading and unloading your equipment, uh -huh. uh, the whole bottom tray slides Whoa. out. Whoa, so if this is the side of the car, you don't have to like lean over your car. It just comes out to you. Yeah, absolutely. It's just going to make a... Uh, make it that much quicker. Well, I do so. ski and snowboard too, but yep. as far as the bike racks, since yeah, I'm kind of talking about bikes, totally. it's, is it like ain't broke, don't fix it situation? No, or do we have any absolutely updates? Absolutely not, absolutely. Uh, trunk rack is out right now. Nice. Uh, two bike and a three bike option, two different colorways, uh, fit guide available. Um, yeah, local Kuat dealer uh, shipping now, so. Okay. Great, and then this is like the hitch one that comes, it hangs. These are the hang style racks. If you've ever seen my reviews, like I'm always talking about internally routed cables or where the rear suspension is or bottle cage bosses. Cause if you're hanging your bike, you know, it looks like you have channels, but you don't want those cables to get like ripped up. Totally, so we're 10 years old this year. Um, this is our first uh, fully aluminum rack. This wow. is kind of what, what set Kuat into the, into the game. The old ones uh, being steel, like you didn't want them to rust or absolutely, something? Absolutely, absolutely. So this is what, this is what we uh, kind of started on, the all aluminum, uh, 13 pounds, super compactable, still has our cam system, which makes oh. un unloading and loading it a breeze. And that's nice because uh, it tightens it so it's not rattling like on the back of your car, but, right? But through that through that growth too, I mean, we've, we've come to love platform style. Uh -huh. you, you can handle different bikes uh, way better, so. Is this, okay, so the one I have is a lot like this, and it's got this little like buck it, but I've, I've seen some other ones like this where it's like it flips out like this yeah. thing's like whoosh. This is this is a great alternative if you want something that's super compact super light This is like 30 pounds. So one of the lightest uh, Mostly aluminum platform rack in the market. I like so, that. What's that one called? This is the Sherpa The Sherpa and then what's that one? This is the Envy. The Envy. I have the Envy and it matches my gray Prius Yeah, it's a couple different color options um, I've got a sweet inner bike um, rack that we're just uh, debuting here at the show. Show so me that one. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. This is perfect. Yeah, this is our one bike transfer. So over the last year and a half, the growth of our transfer rack has been like blown us away. Um, so we thought, what a what what a you know not a, not a better rack to to come out with a one bike version. So huh. a lot of great features. Uh, two two nineteen retail. So it's the price uh, point rack. Oh yeah, this is thing lightweight. Is gonna be awesome. You'll have the ability to expand it if you want to do a plus one on this. Oh, kind of cool. so later, like you can turn it into that kind Good. of? Good, absolutely. Oh, that's rad. So yeah, we're super excited. Thanks, man. Yeah. Good updates. Absolutely. See you next time. All right. Hey guys, found our old buddies at Bosch. I thought this was really cool. There's like an exploded motor here. I think they have the same picture on the website, but look at, I think that, are these magnets right here? Yes, that is the drive unit there. And that's the motor that plugs in, of course, that spins within the magnets. This is so cool. And this is Brian Sarmiento. How's Hi. it going, buddy? Good, how are you doing? Great, man. We met at the Bosch, um, I guess it was the offices and I was hanging the out Bosch there one North time. Bosch North America headquarters. That's right, in Irvine, in Irvine. Which is where I'm told that you rode your bike from today, all the way to Tahoe. Yes, four To North days. Star. <laughs> what bike did you ride? I Tell rode the Turn GSD. Let's go look at this thing, man. I want to yep. see it up close. It looks like you got it tricked out. You got the lights and stuff. I rode the Turn GSD. Double batteries? And did you have to, how many times did you charge? I charged every night, but for this trip, I had a total of 10 batteries with me. 10 batteries, were they just 
filling up that they were, bag? They were in one <laughs> bag, and on the other side, I had all my clothes for Interbike. Oh. And then I had all my supplements and spare tools and everything on the front rack in another bag. You're like totally self-sufficient here with this I was. Thing. It was uh, It was started out as a self-supported ride. Uh -huh. And I also towed my e-mountain bike for the Troy this Lee Boogaloo sick. Race. This is sick. So you were in the Boogaloo, yeah? Yep. I raced the Boogaloo race and the whole goal was, you know, I'm a rider. Why don't I ride to... The boogaloo race how'd you do you look like no no trail damage no it was a it was an amazing <laughs> race i actually had a really good race even after riding four days 550 miles and Man. i still rocked it during the race what it, what mode did you use most of the time was i like, was on turbo the whole time turbo the whole time an honest man i yeah. was on turbo but you know with this setup and, and 10 batteries pulling I, was, a bike, I was towing yeah. and towing a bike i was it was 400 pounds that i i towed wow for those four days wow dude I, this is incredible i i love the setup it's inspiring to see this is this a custom part or what no, is this, that this is made by rocky mounts okay and then these brackets are already there because the the turn gst you have so many different configurations child seats right and then we found a rack that's that fit the same bolt pattern huh we bolted it on and put the bike on this is so cool and i again i love this fuji is this like a power tube this is a power tube the battery is missing but this is their uh 2019 uh, e mountain bike. We're gonna have to check that out. I don't see the the new display though on this one yet. Nope. Oh yeah, they're they're using uh, an Atuvia. I'm surprised because usually they have like Purions or whatever for mountain bikes, but I actually really like the Intuvia because it has the USB. Yeah, they they chose to use the Intuvia. That's all good. <laughs> yeah. That's great, man. Well, thank you. I'm glad we ran into each other yeah. and thanks for just nice to see the the booth and stuff. I thought this was kind of cool. Got the SRAM RockShox booth. Really big, not a lot of people around, so it's a great time to show you the SRAM Eagle. So this is 10 to 50 tooth, so it's just a really wide spread and I think really relevant to electric bikes because a lot of them are one by uh, one instead of two or three chain rings. And it's a little bit simpler, a little bit lighter that way. And if you have a mid-drive, uh, like for example, Bosch, and I think Shimano, they don't they don't work with multiple chain rings, at least right now. Um, Yamaha does, but then again, you have a second derailleur and it's a little complex. So I, I like how they've got these really widespread on gears in the cassette. Now, the jumps are a little bit faster and I'm, I'm trying to think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So 12 sprockets instead of 11 or 10 or seven, you know, like most of the e-bikes I see, it's like 10 or 11, so 12. 12 sprockets is great, but the jumps are a little bit bigger, especially from here to here. So this this big sprocket, that's for climbing. It's gonna really make it easy to climb. It's probably most relevant on like mountain bikes. So you can see that over here, this full suspension trek. Very cool with the gold, you know, really calling out kind of the bling going on. And maybe you need a longer derailleur to handle that wide spread. But then with a one by drivetrain, it's just a little bit lighter, a little bit more convenient. And with the e-bike, with a mid-motor, you're in a situation where those jumps, the bigger jumps, they don't matter as much because you've got that electric assist support. So I really like that. This is cool. Canada branded on the rock shocks there. Some really beautiful it's Juliana S work specialized. So a lot of different companies here. And then check this out. This is like a triathlon bike where you've got the pull your arms together to get really aerodynamic or in this really dropped position. It's just amazing to see this kind of stuff. This is where a lot of the racing innovation comes from that might migrate over to e-bikes at some point. Can you imagine having like batteries inside the frame? That would be so cool. And then this, this box here, I think you can put stuff inside that and then you mount a little computer up there. Got the ergonomic seats. Just beautiful. This is always kind of awe-inspiring for me to see and fun to share with you guys so hope you enjoyed that i think we're just about done this is, this is the last stop here at outdoor demo day day one had a lot of fun if there's anything you want to see at interbike just leave a comment and i'll do my best to cover it in the coming days uh, of course i'll be doing reviews and things like normal i'll see you back in the ebr forums have fun out there you guys ride safe